What's up, sons? It's Blind Red with Son of Attack once again, and today I'm going to show you how to mine Cubic on Hive OS with both your CPUs and GPUs. AMD is supported as well now, and there is a Hive OS miner that makes this a lot more simple than the last how to. So let's go ahead and get into it. First things first, you will want to head to wallet.cubic.li and create a wallet. Now, um, technically create a vault, I suppose, by clicking the create vault button, naming it. I like to name it mining and click create. It will add the address and give you the information with the seed. You can use your own or generate one. I would suggest generating one so you can say randomize seed here and then you can grab that seed. It will download it for you. You can copy it out or download it or both up to you. Uh, and then from here, you're gonna click the create address button and then you'll type in an address for this wallet or a password, excuse me, and click download vault. And you basically will download this vault to a secure location on your computer. And when you open the wallet again, you'll need to actually go ahead and pick that specific vault again, right? So that's pretty much how you're going to do it. You'll type in the password again, select the vault file to prove that you downloaded it. So we'll go to our desktop here and grab the vault file, say open, click verify. And now that's verified. So we have that vault file. I would recommend making copies of it and putting it on a secure USB. And then we can click open our wallet. From here, we're gonna go ahead and we can click the view button. And here's our address ID, our seed, which you wanna keep safe. And that is everything there. So we have our seed, we have our wallet, we have our address, everything's good there. The next place you're going to need to head to is app.cubic.li and here you'll need to create an account. So unfortunately there is a certain level of KYC with this particular project. So keep that in mind. Now you'll just create an account by clicking this sign up button right here. And then once you click the sign in button, you're going to just type in your email, type in a password or generate one. See if I can type. Oh, it's gonna make me type in something more complicated. We'll just use the password generator. And then finally, we'll have to solve the CAPTCHA, which is 50 plus 23. So we'll put in 73 here and click sign up. Then we'll get signed in. All right, so now that we're signed in, we're gonna to go to the pool mining option right here. And we are going to subscribe to a pool. You can pick the fixed 85% or the fixed plus bonus reward. Read the stipulations and differences between the two and pick one. Today I'm gonna to do the 85%. Click subscribe and click confirm. And this is going to give us the option for our token. So we're gonna click the show token and this we will copy out and put into a, into a notepad because we will need to utilize this later within the Hive OS flight sheet. So next we're gonna head on over to the Cubic GitHub and their Hive OS repository, which I'll leave down in the description below. And there is a very, very detailed guide here. You could do it all off of this guide. So I think, you know, the video you can use for some help in case you're missing something and it's not working, but you can do everything based off of this guide and pretty much be good to go. Now, the first thing that we're going to have to do is upgrade our rigs to the Hive OS beta. And this is because you're going to need the latest libraries. So we're going to head on over to one of our rigs. We'll just select this one right here. And then we will remotely connect by starting a Hive shell. Click into the Hive shell. And now that we're in here, we're going to paste from browser and add the location for the Hive Replace script and say beta and yes, and press okay. Then press the enter button. And this will upgrade Hive OS to the beta version of Hive OS, which will have the latest libraries that are needed to basically mine this particular coin. 
Okay, so I actually ran into a couple little issues. If you do end up having the rig come back online but is not connecting to HiveOS, you may need to rerun the first run. This is the only rig that's happened on out of like the 75 that I've done this on. But just in case you run into that issue, you can just run the first run dash F and grab the rig information as far as the rig ID and password from the settings tab on that rig. Once the update is complete to the beta, I do recommend patching everything all the way up to make sure that you have the latest version primarily of libc6 over here. This command I'll leave in the comment section below or the description below. So check down there or check over on locals to paste it in. It'll go through and do that upgrade process. And that's just to make sure that you're up to the latest libraries needed uh, on the latest kernel of Linux, which is, well, not the latest here technically, but the latest for HiveOS, which is 6.1. And then we will go from there. Okay, so now that the update is done, let's go ahead and build out the flight sheet. We're going to go ahead and click the flight sheet tab over here. And we can probably edit that one. Let's go ahead and go over here. Let's go ahead and go to our farm and then flight sheets. We're going to select the coin, call it cubic, the wallet we can add or just select one. We'll add one real quick and we'll go back to our pasting. Now this isn't necessary. It's only necessary because of what the way Hive OS has it, but the actual miner won't use it at all. But there we go. We'll create that. Configure that in miner. Search for custom. Select the custom miner and click set up miner config. Go to the GitHub. Right click the URL and say copy link address. Paste that into the installation URL. Go over the little I here and click worker name. For the pool URL, we will do the mine.cubicly. It'll be this HTTPS mine.cubic.ly. The password will be blank. And then the part that you need to kind of work through is whether you want to be CPU plus GPU just GPU or CPU. If you go to the GitHub, there are config argument examples. And the thing to pay attention to is going to be amount of threads and then this trainer portion and the access token. The trainer portion is going to be basically selecting whether you are on GPU, CPU, or both. Now, you can't necessarily mine on both NVIDIA and AMD GPUs on the same rig, at least in my experience, you do need to select one or the other. So there is an example here for AMD GPUs, which basically specify AMD as the GPUs. And then the one for NVIDIA GPUs is also setting the overclocks for the NVIDIA GPUs in with NV tools. So those are some little options to pay attention to. Today I will do the GPU mining on NVIDIA. So I'm gonna copy this one right here. And this is going to go into the extra config arguments. And then remember we had on the portal our access token. We're gonna to go back here, copy the access token, go back to our flight sheet and replace the your own token with that token and then we will click the apply changes. I'm going to remove the overclocks because I don't want to set any overclocks right now. We'll just have that right there. And it really is that simple. If you need to add AMD, you will add the AMD for the GPU version under the trainer. But if it's just Nvidia, all you really need is the access token. Click apply and click create flight sheet. From here, we will go back over to our workers. We will select the flight sheet and then select the new flight sheet that we are we created and the worker will be updated. Then the final thing that we need to do is set our payout address. If we go to back to the portal and click the settings button, there will be the payout account. To get that, you will go to your wallet, 
select the address that we created earlier, paste that here and click Save Settings. Now, it's important to note that payouts are weekly, and so that means you will have to mine for the whole week and then you will get paid out. You won't really necessarily have any way to track it very well, other than just making sure that you do have miners connected under your miner control. And then you will get the payout history here, and you can go back, of course, to your wallet at the end of the day and check your balance here. It'll show your USD value as well as the amount of cubic that you have under that account. So if we go back to our rig, if we want to check the mining status, we can click the Hive Shell Start, or in this case, I do already have one open, so I can run the Miner command. And you can see here we've begun mining, and it is showing the amount of ITs per second on those GPUs. So that's pretty much how you're gonna get mining cubic. It's a lot simpler than it was previously. So if you were having issues previously, go ahead and give it another shot. Thanks for watching today. Be sure to hit the like, comment, subscribe, and notification bells down below so you're notified when I release a new video. If you found this helpful, consider supporting me over on Locals at sonofatech.locals.com for written guides and additional speculative minds. And other than that, I will see you next Tuesday.